Let's read The Germ Busters by Rosemary Wells. Mrs. Jenkins rang the lunchtime bell. It's time to eat, boys and girls, said Mrs. Jenkins. What do we sing? The Clean Hands Song to the tune of My Boyfriend's Back. My right hand's clean and it smells like a daisy. Clean hands, clean hands, clean hands. My left hand's clean, in case you think I'm lazy. Clean hands, clean, clean hands. We don't want germs in a great big bunch, swarming and storming all over our lunch. So we cope with the soap for a knockdown punch. We've got clean hands, clean hands. My hands are so clean they squeak in the air, said Timothy. <clears throat> Timothy unwrapped his sandwich. If a germ came near my hand, it would die in the soap rays, said Yoko. Yoko took a bite of her California roll. My hands are the cleanest hands in hand land, said Fritz. How come, said Tim, asked Timothy. My mama is a nurse, answered Fritz. She brings germ zapper soap from the hospital. It kills germs dead as doornails. I've seen it under my microscope. The Frank twins dug into their Franks and beans. The Franks have been in the boys' room, but they had not washed their hands. They never did. That's for sissies, said the Franks. The Franks each ate their Franks and beans with one hand. They each ate their Eskimo pies with the other. Good, said the Franks. Good, good, good. <clears throat> Those beans and Eskimo pies are covered with little hairy hundred-leg germs, blue with red spots, said Fritz. Who cares, said one Frank. You never wash your hands in the boys' room, said Fritz. We don't care, said the other Fritz. If you tell on us, Mrs. J won't like it. Mrs. Jenkins rang the playtime bell. The Franks wiped their noses on their sleeves. They never used tissues. That's for wussies, said the Franks. The Franks played Snap the Whip with Nora, Charles, and Timothy. Everyone wound up in a big heap. Then they snapped the whip again and again and again. After playtime, everyone went to wash up. No one could tell if the Franks had washed up or not. On the bus home, Nora fell asleep. Gus, the bus driver, had to wake her up at her stop. That evening, Nora did not feel like eating her supper. She went to bed early. You have a fever, Nora, said her mother. All the next day, Nora stayed in bed. That afternoon, her big sister Kate came home from school early. It was not long before their little brother Jack felt sick, too. Mrs. Jenkins telephoned to find out what was the matter. She did not like what she heard. She thought about why everybody was getting sick. Her class washed their hands before the clean hands song, didn't they? Everybody used tissues, didn't they? Nobody spread germs, did they? The next morning, Mrs. Jenkins spoke to the class. Nora and her whole family are very sick, boys and girls, she said. And now, Charles, Yoko, and Timothy are sick, too. Somebody is not washing their hands. There was no answer. Somebody is being careless about wiping their nose on their tissue. No one said a word. Somebody else knows who it is. Nobody said a word. What happens when we tell on someone else? asked Mrs. Jenkins. We're a tattletale, said everyone. And when it is important to tell, asked Mrs. Jenkins. When telling helps not hurts, said the class. After school, Fritz whispered to Mrs. Jenkins, I know who it is, but I can't tell, he said. I just can't do it. Well, perhaps you could tell whoever it is to wash their hands and use tissues to wipe their nose. It would not do any good, said Fritz. I will have to think of something else, said Mrs. Jenkins. What you need, said Mr. Wagweed, is a germostat. It sees the germs for you. I could build one if I had help. Our Fritz is awfully good at science, said Mrs. Jenkins. We will try, said Mr. Wagweed. 
Mr. Wagweed and Fritz worked for hours welding things to an old TV screen. We've got a pretty good germostat, my friend, said Mr. Wagweed. When everyone was well and back in school again, Mrs. Jenkins had something to say. Fritz and Grace have a new job, boys and girls. They are now the germostat monitors. Just before the clean hands song, you must put your hands under the germostat. No one may eat their lunch until the germostat says they have clean hands. The Franks snickered. They'll never find out with that silly machine, they said. Ready, Fritz? Ready, Grace? asked Mrs. Jenkins. Along came Nora out of the girls' room. Germ-free, said Grace. Next, Charles put his hands under the red light. Clean as a hound's tooth, said Grace. The germostat showed everybody had washed their hands. Mm -hmm. Then came the Franks. They put their hands under the special light. You can't see anything with that dumb machine, said the Franks. We know you made it all up. Fritz pushed the red button. Bing, 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 went the alarm. Special marking powder shot out all over the Franks' hands. The red light blinked on and off. Germs, said Grace. Big, nasty, yellow, greenish, yellow germs all over. Back you go, Franks, said Mrs. Jenkins. The Franks had to try again. But once again, the light blinked, the alarm dinged, and the marking powder exploded. You can't see any germs on us, said the Franks. Come around and see, said Fritz. The Franks looked on the TV screen. They saw germs of all colors. Use soap this time, said Mrs. Jenkins. So the Franks did. We will never not wash our hands again, they said. Fritz pushed the green button. The Franks whispered about the germostat all day, but they could not figure out how it worked. And that was a story called The Germ Busters.